this is my first attempt at uh, trying to harvest these tin cans as fast as possible while still recovering the food inside. Uh, I'm decided to use a grinder instead of a, uh, or a cutting wheel instead of a sawzall or a hole saw. Uh, mostly because I kind of started worrying about getting little metal fragments into the animal feed and then getting hurt, cut up inside. So I'm thinking the dust that comes off the grinding wheel uh, ought to be fine enough that it shouldn't hurt the pigs. Uh, and this is my first time doing this, so I'm just going to basically try to make an incision right here close to the edge of the can uh, so as to um, remove the product from the inside and uh, then uh, hopefully reuse these as a, a alternative building material. So, we'll see how it goes. I'd say uh, that's about the fastest, most efficient way that you that I've found so far to process canned goods in bulk uh, for animal feed. And with the plus side, that this method actually uh, uh, preserves the container itself, and that way it can be upcycled and used for other purposes. Um, that was pretty quick. I just killed probably 18 cans of this stuff and got a good load of food there. Um, my main concerns when doing this, I, I thought about punching holes in both sides and kind of slapping the, the food out of there, but I'm intending to use them stacked like this with some type of mortar or plaster in between them to make a wall. Uh, and I just couldn't think of a way, because around here we have a, a type of bee called a mud dauber, and basically anything that's protected from rain, it fills up with mud and makes a nest in it and also hornets will be making nests if you faced the open side towards the exterior building uh, you just end up with a bunch of wasps and if you face the open side towards the inside and you know can make some neat little shelves and stuff but um, I'm thinking now that I'm gonna try to fill these with soil because uh, I'm going to have a lot of topsoil when I dig the foundation uh, for the building that I'm making. And I'm going to fill these with the topsoil and stack them up so that they'll be rigid and hard. Use some kind of clay or plaster between them all. And then in the end I'll be able to uh, grow plants, make it like a living wall sort of concept. And I think that'll probably be the most visually and aesthetically appealing. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, here's a quick way to harvest your cans. Just make sure, number one rule, Always approach it with safety gear and never take risks. All right, about uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, I'd say I got about uh, 80 to 100 of these cans processed. These are uh, 28 ounce cans. Uh, Thirteen times a quarter, so they're uh, four and a half cups each. I don't know what that works out to, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'd say this is enough food. I've got two adolescent pigs over there, and uh, this is going to fill up their feed trough pretty well with uh, tomato, ground tomatoes, and uh, you know, I'm going to throw a little grain in there just to make sure they get their calories, uh, but uh, they'll suck this down in a day or two, and uh I can just kind of process and clean these as I go along. Alright, I went and dumped it into the pig feed trough. And here's proof positive that, oh, they love it. They're sucking it down like it's no tomorrow. There's not very much calories in it, but uh, there's some vitamins. And these uh, particular brand don't have too much sodium, so I'm not too worried about that. But now I'm just going to go ahead and spray all these down with the hose and put them in a place to dry. And the main thing is now until I'm ready to use them. I just uh, want to keep them from filling up with water and uh, rusting. So I'm going to probably put them underneath the tarp once they're dry. But uh... All, right. No. All right, that concludes my first uh, experiment in uh, processing
canned food into a building material and I think uh, at first glance it looks very promising. Um, if you took your time and were leisurely about it, uh, you could process this amount of cans in about an hour with the proper tools and I didn't even have a good setup. I, I, in retrospect, I, I'd like to build a dedicated processing center to make the whole thing go more smoothly and also some kind of a washing bin so that I don't have to waste as much water uh, when cleaning them out. Um, and the main reason I'm cleaning them out is just to prevent them from going rancid and attracting uh, varmints and flies and such. Um, what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'd say around 65, 75 cans after all. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are about 4 inch diameter. Um, and I just kind of threw them up there to get an idea about how much area that amount of cans would cover. And I'd say it's a pretty decent little start to a wall for one day's work. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I think there's a lot of potential here, and I'm going to try to develop a more efficient method, and we'll see how uh, it turns out.